Teen Mom 2 Recap, Brianna to Jesus and Javi Mara Queen Split and Kaylin Lowry Makes Things Worse. Well, that was fast. Brianna to Jesus and Javi Mara Queen ended their relationship during the Monday, July 2nd, episode of Teen Mom 2. To make matters worse, Javi was a guest on Kaylin Lowry's podcast, and they gushed about all of the juicy details. But Brianna wasn't innocent as she also revealed she is reconnecting with one of her exes. Find out what you might have missed during this week's episode below. Brianna and Javi break up. Brianna went to Delaware to visit Javi, and it went bad and to say the least. He tried to pressure her into doing a lot of things from talking her into moving to Delaware to advising her to not post about her upcoming plastic surgery on social media. When the trip was over, so were they as a couple. I felt controlled, Brianna said. I felt like he was trying to manipulate me in a situation I didn't want to be in. Javi was supposed to take care of Brianna and her friend after they got their plastic surgery, but things between them were so bad she had to turn to her extra to help them. Javi's going to be buffered when he sees who's taking care of us, she said to her friend, but didn't seem to care too much. We smell trouble. Kaylin and Javi stir the pot. To make matters worse, Javi decided it would be a good idea to involve Kaylin in everything about his breakup. She was the first person he told when he planned on breaking up with her. You're always right, he told her and apparently apologized. He then went on Kaylin's podcast to talk about his split Brianna and his relationship with his ex. He said there are a lot of things he would have done differently if he went back to the start of his relationship with Brianna. My new relationship should not be mixed with a past relationship, Javi said. I'm trying to learn from my mistakes. However, the two continued to talk about it anyway, and Kaylin totally trashed Brianna.
Brianna obviously caught wind of the episode and went off on Twitter. I was so pissed, I couldn't hold back, Brianna said. And we thought the last reunion was crazy. Leah Messer finally went on a date to a pottery painting place with her ex Jeremy Calvert this episode, except she made her daughter Addie come. Jeremy seemed upset he didn't get one on one time with Leah but liked having the family together. I'm glad I got to take you and Addie out for an evening, Jeremy said. Leah later told her friend that she had so much fun with her ex. He just wants me to be like let's get back together, Leah said. Does it cross my mind when he mentions it? Yes. However, she said things would need to be drastically different than it was in their previous relationship for it to even work. Jace calls Janelle and David pieces of shit. David Eason wasn't being filmed after MTV cut ties with him for a string of homophobic tweets last week, but Jenna Levins acted like it was his decision to not be filmed. She got to spend some time with Jace this week, but when he went back to Barbara Evans' house, he did not seem to have a good time at his mother's. I missed you so much, Jace told his grandma, adding that Janelle wouldn't let him call her. Mommy was being mean. As the episode went on, Jace told Barbara about how the couple was treating Kaiser. Specifically, they wouldn't let Kaiser hang out on the boat with them and sent him to daycare for the day. Mommy and David are pieces of shit, Jace said before spitting on the ground. Janelle is not going to be happy about this one. Chelsea Houskip found out she was having a girl and couldn't wait to surprise Cole Deboer. She decorated the house in pink things, but she and her daughter had to be super sneaky at the party store so news wouldn't get out that she was pregnant. We're on the same team, she said to Aubrey.
I hate lying Aubrey and I'm a terrible liar. Their plan worked and Cole was over the moon about having a baby girl of his own. I had a feeling from the get-go, he said. I have a lot of learning to do. Teen Mom 2 airs on NTV Mondays at 9 p.m. ET.